The usual PCB design current will not exceed 10A, but some products are designed with power traces, and the continuous current can reach about 80A. Considering the instantaneous current and leaving a margin for the entire system, the continuous current of the power traces should be able to withstand 100A above. Today, Ebyte will introduce to you four methods of running 100A current on the PCB. The first method, trace on the PCB. If the current of 100A is to be used, the copper thickness of 4 ounce can be selected, the trace width is set to 15 mm, double-sided trace, and a heatsink can be added to reduce the temperature rise of the PCB and improve the stability. The second method, binding post. Fix several binding posts that can withstand 100A on the PCB or product shell, such as surface mount nuts, PCB terminals, copper posts, etc. Then use terminals such as copper noses to connect wires that can withstand 100A to the binding posts. This allows large currents to travel through the wires. The third method, custom copper bars. It is a common practice in the industry to use copper bars to carry large currents. The fourth method, special PCB process. Some special PCB processes can easily achieve a small volume over current of more than 100A. But there are few manufacturers that can process it.